In this video, you'll learn how to manage comments and messages across social media platforms using Fanpage Karma. First, go to Engage to open your inbox. On the left side, you can find different message folders, like for example, all open messages that have not been dealt with, all finished conversations, or conversations that were postponed to a future time. Below that, there are personal folders for each member of your team that include all messages assigned to them. And then there are theme folders that include messages that have been labeled with a specific tag. In the center you can see all messages of the selected folder, like for example posts with comments or direct messages. You can perform several quick actions right here, like for example liking this comment, or hiding it, deleting it, tagging it, assigning it, or checking it off. If necessary, you can reopen a conversation by clicking Undo. If you want to know more details about a conversation or answer it, click on it and it takes you to the chat view of the conversation where you can write your answer. By clicking on the name of the person who messaged you, a fourth area opens. It shows you the history of the user. Here, for example, you can see that Philip Schneider already left a couple of comments and I might choose to save some information about the user, like for example a client ID or any other information. To answer to the comment, just type in your response and press send. You have the option to insert templates, GIFs and attach files. The right side bar allows you to assign the conversation, mark it as done, tag it, ask for external feedback, add a note for your team members or to postpone the conversation to a date in the future. This is very helpful in case you have a conversation that you don't have the answer to yet because you need to gather some more information. You can push it three hours or until tomorrow, next week or next month. This means that the conversation disappears from your inbox and reopens at the selected time and you can deal with it then. I already answered so I can mark the conversation as done and it disappears from my open messages. It is very easy to work together as a team using Engage. By clicking on Unassign, you can see all the messages that are not assigned to any team member yet. And you can use this Hoover button to delegate the conversation to a specific team member. The conversation disappears from the Unassigned folder and reappears in the personal folder of your team member, Ava in this case. If you're in trouble because you don't know how to answer to a message, because a user left an angry comment for example, you can simply leave an internal note for your colleague asking them for help. Your note appears below the comment, only visible to your team members, not on Facebook. Now I can delegate the conversation to my team member so they can help me. In case there's a problem that no member of my Fanpage Karma account can help me with, I have the option to ask for external feedback, for example my boss or my client, to do so, you have to add the person's name, their email address, and your request, and send. This message also appears as an internal note, colored in blue in the chat view, and Alex gets an email with the request that he can answer to, which then also appears in a chat view. I can now take the advice and hide the comment. If you're receiving a lot of messages on different topics, it's helpful to use tags to get them organized. There could be tags for job requests, product requests, errors, or influencer corporations, for example. And then you can create special theme folders for your most pressing tags, which appear here in the left sidebar. To create or use a tag, just click on this Hoover button and choose one of your existing tags or add a new one. which will appear up here where you can choose it. Let's say all messages concerning influencers have a very high priority for you and you want to see instantly when there's new messages. You can manage this by creating a folder for this tag. Go to settings. Again, you see all your tags. You can hover over a tag and activate this little folder. Go back to your inbox and you'll find the influencer folder in the left sidebar. You can save a lot of time in community management by automatically responding to certain messages. To do so, go to the settings under little helpers and press plus little helpers. 
I'm going to set up a little helper that will automatically hide all comments happening on my Facebook page outside office hours. It'll prevent shitstorms from happening on my page while nobody's watching. Select the type time slot, name the little helper, select the time that nobody's in the office, and define a rule that all Facebook comments that happen during this time shall be hidden. And select the profile. Now all comments that happen outside office hours on my Facebook page will be automatically hidden and I can manually evaluate and unhide them in the morning. Another useful little helper could be one that automatically responds to mentions, because most of the time you don't even answer to them, you just tick them off and they overflow your inbox. So select the type fan tags, again choose a name, and define that all comments that contain a mention and no more than 30 additional characters, you can set this limit yourself, and that don't contain any other trigger word that I've chosen, like for example the name of my product or brand, or any other trigger word that you don't want to miss, then the comment should be automatically marked as done and disappear from my open messages. If you want, you can even add more rules to it, like for example, that the comment shall also be automatically assigned to someone or be liked. Then you can save and again choose your profile. And like this, you define two processes that normally take a lot of time out of your day. To create a text template, go to Templates, press plus Templates, enter a name for the template, and choose all profile groups you want to use the template in. Now write the template and save. The new template appears here where you can also edit it if necessary. If you go to your inbox and open a conversation, you can click on the little icon on the bottom left and insert it into your response. It appears in the text box and you can send it. To analyze your community management, go to reports. You'll find out how many new conversations there were, how many of those were reacted to, what's the average time until the first reaction, how many reactions there were, and what's the average reaction time. Below that, the metrics are visualized, and the bottom graph shows you at which times of the week the most conversations happened. At the top right, you can choose the time period of the analysis, and you can look at the statistics of certain team members and tags. Here you can gather helpful information to improve your community management. For a better structure and smoother workflows in the team, you can create profile groups, which allow you to divide the messages of all your profiles so you don't have to look at them all at once. To create a profile group, go to Settings to Engage Profile Groups and press plus Profile Group. Name the profile group. Here all the members of your account are listed and you can simply choose who should be assigned to the profile group. Click Save, and you'll find a new profile group among your other profile groups. Press Plus Profiles to select the social media profiles you want to receive all the messages of in your profile group. They are sorted by network. I'm just going to choose two profiles of different networks. And press Save. And now you can see the two profiles in the profile group. If you want to make changes like renaming the group or add another team member, you can do this up here. Back in your inbox, your profile group should appear in the drop down, and you can choose it. Now you and your team can focus on the messages of those selected profiles only.